what's going on everyone it's Justin again from the shave den back again with another shave video I know I'm in the same I'm in the old bathroom again the only reason why is embarrassingly enough I have misplaced the selfie stick so I was not able to set up the phone in the correct position so next video I'll probably will do it again so fingers crossed so anyway one second please okay I was uh, lurking around on the shave den, and <clears throat> I noticed that uh, a lot of you guys are doing the um, OC Tober, October, OC October, open comb Tober, October, thirty days with the thirty-one days with the open chrome razor. But uh, you know, as I was saying, I was probably going to do the cartridge razor until no shave November. But you know, in the spirit of the shave dens. Um, um, challenge if you will um, I've decided to take a break from the cartridge and do I'm not doing I'm not going the whole month with the with the open cone because obviously I missed most of it but here I have in all its glory a Gillette old type from like 1918 I believe um, I got off eBay like three years ago one second please And the color is off a little, and as you can see, the plating is kind of rusting slightly. But um, it's not in not in bad condition. The teeth are perfectly aligned. There's no crookedness to it. I could pay like less than ten bucks for it, I think. So anyway, I have a Lord Platinum blade loaded in here. I've never used the Lord Platinum blade. I actually found it in my uh, collection of shaving supplies and objects, and it items um, just filling up the sink with the hot water I'm just out of the shower um, wash my face with the Dove for men sensitive face wash and put on some of the usual um, hair conditioner the almond and shea butter hair conditioner let it sit for a couple of minutes and rinse it out it does a really good job with with uh, hydrating the, the whiskers I have not shaved in two days so today, I also uh, saw a post on the shaved in about people using, wondering about using sandalwood shaving cream or soap or whatever. I'll be using Crasso Red sandalwood. Um, one of my favorites. It smells wonderful. I actually wet the puck a few minutes ago, kind of let it get a little pliable. Okay, it's gonna start lathering up. This is the Tweezer Man Pure Badger. To load the brush up. When I first got this brush, it shed like crazy. But over the years and usage and whatnot, it actually became a really nice brush. I have no complaints with it. So, just loading it up really well. This is a fairly new tub of the uh, Parasso. I uh, use it a few times. But uh, this is one I like to use during the winter because it just has that woodsy scent to it that I just love. Okay, that should be good. Okay, let me get some more water on the face. Plowing through a couple of days of growth here. Hopefully this Lord Platinum will do the job. Leathers up really nice. If you prefer using a cream, there's actually a tube version of this soap. Check it out if you prefer to to lather as a, in a tube. Okay, that's good enough. Smells very nice. Okay, I've not used a DE razor in a while, so let's see if I bleed.
let alone I have not used this razor in a while. Actually, I don't think that I've used a, a DE razor on my upper lip and goatee area in like a year. No. Being open comb, I can tell that it's a little more aggressive than my other razors. Not terribly so, but it's just the like the raking action. Okay, now the hard part. I hate shaving my upper lip. That's reason. That's one of the reasons why I keep the goatee. No matter what razor I decide to use, it always pulls on the mustache. I love the way this Parasso smells, it's wonderful. Hopefully everyone's having a good Halloween uh, season. Get your pumpkins carved, get your candy bags ready, or your costumes, depending on if you go out. So, um, unfortunately I will be working on Halloween, so that kind of sucks, but maybe next year. But I'll definitely still be celebrating the spirit of Halloween. I'm, Watching a bunch of horror movies and eating a bunch of candy corn. Gotta celebrate it no matter what. It's my favorite holiday. So, across the green. The Lord Platinum Blade is not terrible. I feel like it might be tugging slightly. It's like, it'll do, but it's like, this is my only Lord Platinum Blade, and it's like I said, while, while it'll do, I don't think that it's one that I'm going to be replacing. I'll try a different razor though, just to see. Going for the final pass. Okay. Here is the against the grain. Okay. Come to trouble spot. And I do see a slight little leaper. It's 
probably due to the fact that I haven't used this type of razor without a pivot in a while. Or it could be the blade. It is tugging. I will say it is tugging a little. I probably won't use this blade ever again. But I'm going to soldier through it. I don't go against the grain on the mustache area. I just can't do it. Just trying to clean up the trouble area a little. Little touch ups here. All right, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. First DE shave in a while. I don't want to overdo it. Yeah, a little small weeper there. See the little comb or the, the blade that I used? It's a little alum stick here. Oh, yeah. A little bit of stinging. Okay. That's the, uh, you're going to look at it. This is the Gillette Old Type safety razor from I think the seller on eBay said around 1918 this is when this was manufactured by Gillette so kinda cool Just a little tidbit anyway I don't think I'm bleeding anymore uh, it's a good razor I really enjoy it I've been using it for about two or three years now I've never used it with that blade before that might be why I bled a little but uh yeah Just rinse off the alum a little. Okay. Regardless of the fact that it was, it was a rough third pass, the results are not terrible. Hopefully I don't break out right there. That's my breakout area. But yeah, uh, Barrasso smells wonderful. Pleaser man, excellent performer. And uh, yeah, hopefully everyone has a good day, and I will see you next time. Happy October.